All right, so it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC gold for the first yeah, time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like after. If I get it done, how does my life change? Tonight he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205 pound contender here tonight. Folks, here he is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Big challenge in front of him tonight, but this man looks like an individual who could reign for some time. Well, he reigns atop what was the UFC's glamour division. You go from Tito Ortiz to Chuck Liddell to Randy Couture, John Jones, Mauricio Shogun, who has so many great champions that have held this title, that there is a lot of credibility that comes with it. This man loves that he is the 205 pound champion and knows how difficult it is to reign for a long time in such a tough division. A lot of budding contenders coming his way. We'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. All right, ready to go from the house that MJ built. We are at United Center, Chicago, Illinois, USA. Both fighters now ready to engage. Let us see who emerges in this critical matchup. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the Utah, the Dragon Machina. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending. Undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Mauricio Shogun Pua. One of the best in the business, Ready, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. So here is the former champion, Shogun Hua. He really has added to his legend late in his career. Early in this fight, we'll see how he approaches it. Strong starter in the past. We'll see if that holds true tonight. Big elbow there, Lance. Straight left there. Oh, big elbow. Oh, beautiful combination there from Shogun Hua. Absolutely remarkable that he's still going strong in a pro career that dates to 2002 when he made his debut in his native Curitiba, Brazil. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Tries to work it into a takedown. Could be true. 
trouble. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented. Nice straight right lance. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time. If you start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, that's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, if you get the night tap on them, you're right on the spot. Shogun goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. And there's a takedown attempt. Machine is limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damage, a lot of the courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back. And wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. His misses are at the top. Five minutes in the book. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And while well, Hua is bleeding from the forehead there a little bit, it doesn't appear to be too bad. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch and that. You ready? You ready? Round two is on the way. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and that is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue on the path. Oh, he's still there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out for Thanksgiving. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Fight's done. Oh, that's big. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, Hua's eye is just mangled. He's hardly recognizable right now. I know DC's got his eyes closed, but I'm not so sure the referee shouldn't call on the ringside physician, like, right now. In the night. In the half guard. The Dragon Machida gets back up. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result... <laughs> Sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon right now. A lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. <laughs> it happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. And that is it. Referee waves off the fight per the doctor's orders. Disappointing conclusion to that one. It is, but it's the right call. I mean, this guy was not going to be able to continue this fight 
with that bad of a cut. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. He's playing the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Leoto the Dragon Machida. Well, some question whether or not Lyoto Machida was capable of this type of performance. Well, the former UFC light heavyweight king certainly answered all of those questions and then some with his skills tonight. This is a hard guy to simulate in training. That much we know. And his opponent just really didn't have much in terms of answers tonight.